is time. It is time to brew your best beer. The 2015 SJ Pour Challenge is brought to you by the Grain Bill Homebrew Supply, located in Red Lion, Pennsylvania. Brewers Exchange, operating in the U.S. and Canada. Finney's Homebrew Emporium, located in Bishopdale, Christchurch, New Zealand. And Omega Yeast, located in Chicago, Illinois. And we're back for another one. Uh, the next one is going to be ODC 601. E65, and that's what's on on the bottle. It might be incorrect, but we we're gonna we'll get it straight uh, in the uh, in the video. It's a mint chocolate stout. Uh, local ingredient was local well water. So, you're cracking. I wonder if it's, I wonder if it's mint too. Cause I know you can grow your own mint. So. True. Smells like chewing gum. <laughs> Experiment. Let's go ahead and get a pour on this. There you go. Looks very nicely carved. That's a good looking beer. Nice khaki head there. I can smell the I can smell the mint. Yeah. So very nice looking. Solid, dark, oh man, it's stout through and through. It's been stout, so. Very light, very faint on the mint. Yeah, it's faded out. But it's it's, it's pretty it's much overpowering powering the, uh, the chocolate, though. All right, well, with that, we're going to do, do a taster and uh, write down our results, and we'll be right back. Yep. Okay, and we're back. So the mint chocolate stout, uh, E65, uh, right as soon as we cracked it open, uh, you could smell the mint. We uh, poured it in the glass and the aroma was pretty, pretty nice. Uh, didn't get any roasty malts. I was expecting a little bit of roasty malts, uh, chocolate uh, uh, aroma, and I didn't get anything. The only thing I'm getting is mint. Is mint. That's about it. Just mint. Um, uh, Concur with Lermo, like no, no, no aroma of malt across the beer at all. Um, and uh, it'd be interesting to see if it, if what the what the mint was used, if it was flavor mint or if they actually like muddled up some mint because it's strong. I like to see how they did yeah. that and how they infused it in there, whether it was you know extract or you know real mint. So if you if you watch the video, whoever brewed it, uh, let us know. Always looking to figure out how to infuse some flavors into some beers. So appearance, uh, it was it was a beautiful, beautiful beer. Uh, had a nice tan, or still still has a nice little head, a uh, nice tan head. Uh, dark, you can tell it's a, like a little bit. It's a, it's like a really dark brown. Uh, the only thing, uh, well, we're going right in the flavor is uh i was expecting a little bit more roasty malts uh it seems like maybe with this one being a stout maybe used a little bit too much of the black but i'm not getting much of chocolate notes or any roasty yeah, there's roasty no real barley. sweetness in this beer at all it's just kind of a little bit bitter um kind of from the front to the back and the only redeem the re redeeming thing is that the mint kind of counteracts it a little bit but the more you drink of it the, the more the bitterness kind of builds in the back of your palate. At least that's for me. Could be just me. So overall, I was uh, I, I really really like the idea of a chocolate chocolate mint stout. Just mint stout. So uh, I like the idea. I think that I the only thing I could probably say it needs a little bit more roasty malts, and I think that would counter some of the overwhelming the mint that I was getting with it. But uh, other than that, it was a great idea, and uh, yeah. I'm glad that we it's got a good to try looking this. Beer. Cheers! Cheers!